Okay, you can tell I'm outside. Um, this is a really small body of water, so this isn't a good place to tell the story, but I felt like it was better than not having a place like this. When I got a little bit older and was living at home, my parents bought two sailboats, a 12-foot one and a 10-foot one, a sailfish, sunfish, and a dolphin. Um, <clears throat> and we learned to sail, and it was a lot of fun. And I have all these stories of storms and dodging big cruise ships and things like that. But one of the things that I began to appreciate about sailboats that power boats don't have, and that is sailboats, is you don't have to stop anywhere to get gas to fill up. As long as there's wind, you have all the power that you need, and you just kind of skim over the water um, with no noise of, of a motor. It's the most amazing thing there is. Um, and it made me think about our spirituality, our relationship with God, and what it looks like to live into this life. I think if this pandemic has taught us anything, that is, we were living under a motorboat style of spirituality. And that was get there as fast as we can, go, 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 stop every so often, fill back up and keep going. Uh, Jesus called this religion. He said it was heavy. He said it was weighty. Um, it was our understanding of God, but it wasn't really a sustainable way to live. This pandemic has at least has taught me that maybe the sailboat method is better than the motorboat method. And that is when there's no wind, there's nothing to propel you or power you, maybe you rest, maybe you stop, and you allow the movement of the wind or the Holy Spirit to dictate your movement. And so when Jesus said, come to me, all of you who are weary, let me give you rest, my burden is easy, my yoke is light, maybe he was talking about a sailboat flowing with the wind version of a relationship with God as opposed to a constantly getting there as fast as you can powerboat version of a relationship with God. So that's it for my Thursday thought. Just something that passed through my mind. Um, I hope you have a great week and we'll see you Sunday in person for our second in our series, Now What? So enjoy the weather while we can and have a great day. See ya.